Due to the recent surge in COVID cases, several entertainment venues in Indianapolis will now require proof of vaccination for admission or negative COVID tests in some cases. The list includes Ruoff, the TCU Amphitheater at White River State Park, the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra, Hi-Fi, The Vogue, Square Cat Vinyl, and the Indiana Repertory Theater and the Cabaret. And more announcements are expected in the coming weeks as well. Joining me live this morning with more, Danielle Dove, Director of Marketing and Sales at the IRT, and Shannon Forsell, Artistic Director and CEO of the Cabaret. Good morning to the both of you. Danielle, I'm gonna start with you first. What's Good morning. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning. What, Daniel, what's the new policy and when will it take effect? Absolutely. So we start our season October 6th. We have a vaccination a policy and or um, a ne negative COVID PCR test. Uh, we're very specific about that, um, that requirement, um, as well as masks. Um, so a couple weeks ago, we released our mask mandate, and then we um, went all in um, with our vaccination and COVID negative uh, PCR test. Uh, we also do have exceptions for a Christmas carol um, for youth 4 to 11 years old, um, and we can go into that a little bit later. But we are um, excited about producing live um, mm -hmm. after a year and a half of not producing uh, or producing virtually. So we are um, ready, uh, ready and willing uh, and excited to meet our patrons um, as they are. And Shannon, the cabaret will require proof of vaccination as well. A negative COVID test isn't an option. Why is that? Uh, this is uh, the, for our upcoming show with Megan Hilty. This is artist driven. So some of our policies are based off of our artists and what they are requiring. So uh, this particular artist has young children, uh, is very concerned about their safety. I think a lot of people need to remember that our artists do not uh, they have the luxury of wearing a mask while they're performing. So they are completely exposed uh, to, to anyone that's out there. And uh, actually they could be exposing us because they're not wearing a mask as well. So so uh, that is that is for this performance, but we are exploring the options of the exceptions as we go along. Uh, so this is an ever, you know, a temporary, hopefully, policy and a policy that's ever evolving. Danielle, you I think go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, just following up on what Shannon said, you know, also, we're not just asking this of our patrons. We're asking this of our actors, our unmasked actors who will be unmasked on stage. Okay. We're asking this of our uh, all of our staff and as well as our volunteers. So we are taking this seriously across the board uh, from the inside out of our organization. And Danielle, since uh, you're uh, talking there, I wanted to ask you, you're also giving patrons the option of watching performances online. Yeah, absolutely. So we had last year a fully virtual season, uh, six productions, and um, it was it was quite the experience. We were still able to engage with our community. Um, and this season, we're again back to uh, in person. We will still have that virtual option. At the end of the day, our mission is to produce in person live. Uh, we're a regional nonprofit theater, uh, but we are very excited to also still op uh, offer this virtual option to folks who may just want to sit at home and uh, be at the comforts of their home and enjoy virtually. And finally, uh, Shannon, I want to leave this last question with you. Uh, you say the artists coming to the cabaret are on board with these safety precautions. So everybody's, you know, they're really serious about this. They're not on board. They're driving these uh, these policies. Uh, so I think, you know, a lot of folks, these are national artists. They're used to being in places uh, like New York City where these are standard policies. Um, they're not as standard in Indiana, but they're getting there. And so they're requiring it of us. So, so they have really driven this movement. All right. Well, we appreciate the both of you talking this morning. Danielle Dove, Director of Marketing and sales at the Indiana Repertory Theater and Shannon Forsell, artistic director and CEO of the Cabaret. Appreciate both of your time this morning. And take a closer look at the new policy for the IRT and the Cabaret. Just head over to our website. It is fox59.com links.